Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video now I'm going to display the post on this uh, URL, so slash post. We have the title here, post, and right there now we display the content of the post uh, page we created. So if I go back to the control panel, we have the pages collection, and here I created this post on the last video, post page, with this uh, content the author and the template which is the main template okay the url is slash post then we created the collection post collection and i created also a new uh, post here a new entry you can create more just i have two of them just to show you how we can render them on this uh, url because right now as you can see we have this i'm going to open the vs code and i'm going to show you how we can do that first uh, let's go back and on the control panel on the pages post page post page I have the template main template and I'm going to open that main template on the VS code to see here we render the title and the content now instead of the content we can get the collection of the post so typically in the laravel projects when we work without the statamic we get for example all the posts on the controller and we inject on that uh, for example posts slash index view and then we make a for each of posts and display the post title but here on statamic we just can say double coli braces and use a tag and the name of the tag is the collection collection tag and which name of the collection so the argument here is the name of the collection in this case it's going to be the post collection let me just zoom it a little bit okay if i go back and just say post like this here we make a for each we need also to close the for each by saying just slash and collection colon post here is how we can close how we close the collection now we can display here in Laravel. We used the last and post uh, and change the title, but here we use double coli braces. So in Laravel we say the last and post title like this, but here we just say title. Okay, and let me just add here uh, H1. Okay, I'm going to save this and now let's go here yeah we have the first post as you can see and the second post which is uh, very good now maybe you don't like the override or to change these main elders so you may want this for something else let's change to what it was this uh, main endless file i'm going to save and now let's go to the control panel again on the post collection okay we are in the collections post here we have three dots i'm going to click here and we have the button to edit the collection uh, edit the blueprints for the post collection and also we have this scaffold views and delete let's click on this scaffold views which is going to create to generate views it's going to generate the index and the show okay if you don't want for example if you want only the index you can uh, uncheck this but i'm going to generate the index and the show which is going to create two files the index and show in this post directory would we'll say create views and let me just show you if i open the views we have the errors directory partials and some files but now if i say create views okay so views created successfully now we have also this post directory with index and show file now index and show are empty for now let's go to index and i'm going to just display here the post i'm going to say double coli braces collection colon post okay i'm going to add a h1 for now and say double coli braces just display the title and then I'm going to close this for each. So collection post. Okay, I'm going to save. And now we need to go to pages, post, 
and here we need to use this file now as a template okay so under post we have main but now let's choose this index post slash index save and published now let's go and see if i refresh we have a first post and the second post okay good Now instead of something like this, I have opened here uh, this uh, tile grids and I'm going to use this card. So I'm going to say just go to HTML, copy this one, go back and paste it. Okay, now here I want to leave only one. We have three, but I'm going to leave only one. And now I'm going to say collection colon post and here I want to close that collection post let's open this and we want the image to display here but we want not this hard coded image we want our image so we're going to say double curly braces and we have on the Let's go back on the post collections. For every post, so if I open this, we have a thumbnail here. And the handle for the thumbnail is just thumbnail. So let's say thumbnail. The H3 is here. So let's display the title here. Just saying title. The shelf is going to be. The shelf is going to be double curly braces and just say URL. And also we have here the content, for example, if we want. And also these few details, double curly braces, same URL, and, and let's leave it like this. Okay, I'm going to save this and now let's open the browser and let's see what we have if i refresh yeah we have something like this okay i'm going to open the vs code and let's go to layout and here i'm going to remove some classes let's save and now we have this beautiful card the title was why well, we don't see the title here so here we have the anchor tag We have on dark text to white. Let's see, just let's say desk text to be black. And now we have here. Okay. This is how we can display the pose or a collection, any collection you want. So for example, if you have created some other collections instead of pose, the same thing, just you change the argument here, which is going to be the name of the collection you created, and then you display the thumbnail, the URL, uh, title, and so on. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you. Now, if you like such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best, thank you very much.